Did the U.S. underestimate the strength of the Islamic State militant group? This is your Monday lunch break. I'm Sarah Murray. The militant group, also known as ISIS, is sending Iraq into turmoil, even prompting the U.S. to launch airstrikes over the weekend. So how did they catch the U.S. off guard? WSJ intelligence reporter Siobhan Gorman joins us with more. Siobhan, thanks for being here. Great to be with you. So the U.S. has been following this group. It's not like they just came on the radar. So how are we so unprepared for these aggressive moves we've seen from ISIS in the last couple of weeks? Well, it depends on who you ask. Uh, you know, the uh, there, there have been sort of growing concerns expressed by some uh, U.S. officials, particularly on the military side, that they feel that uh, the fidelity of the intelligence that has been collected on ISIS just hasn't been sufficient to provide uh, enough warning uh, in terms of the successes that they have had uh, in the last few weeks. And if you talk to intelligence officials, they say, look, uh, this is not an intelligence failure. This is an Iraqi military failure. It wasn't knowable that the Iraqi military was going to prove so unprepared to deal with uh, this onslaught from ISIS. So uh, we've got officials sort of hashing it out now over whether or not the intelligence on the group has been adequate. Yeah, it sounds like a little bit of the blame game going on there. So when you look at this group, why is it difficult to gather intelligence on them? What is it about this group? Well, it's not necessarily the group quite as much as the region, although both factor into it. Uh, you'll, you'll remember that the U.S. Uh, basically pulled out in 2011, and there has been, uh, you know, certainly a residual group of operators from the CIA uh, and 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 U.S. intelligence, and certainly there are folks from the State Department there. But the military pulled out, and CIA definitely reduced its uh, its its ability to cover Iraq when it didn't have military security uh, available. So we, we've had less coverage, uh, declining coverage, really since 2011. And uh, Syria, which is where the, the group ISIS is based, has also been a very hard target. When the U.S. did send uh, more military forces back into uh, Iraq to assist the Iraqis in June, there was, uh, you know, sort of an, uh, an uptick in the intelligence collection as well, both intelligence sharing with the Iraqis as well as, uh, you know, surveillance types of assets. And that has helped, but still, again, uh, just over a week ago, uh, the U.S. was still caught a bit by surprise that, that the uh, ISIS forces were able to take on the Kurdish Peshmerga militias uh, as, as effectively as they have been so far. Yeah, that's a good point. And Siobhan, I think in the past when we've thought about these groups, we kind of think about them as not necessarily super well organized organized, not you know, able to access the most sophisticated weapons. How is this group different or more dangerous than some of the militant groups we've seen in the past? Well, uh, they have collected a lot of armaments, including some uh, um, American military gear, as they have uh, sort of uh, taken over different cities, major cities in Iraq. Uh, they also, you know, had, had certainly collected a certain amount of armaments from their base in Syria, and they recruit uh, a number of, of suicide bombers. So they actually have a fairly well organized uh, uh, militia, and U.S. officials are essentially likening it to uh, its own army. Uh, they also are very well funded. Uh, they they uh, sort of are, are robbing banks as they go and, and pillage these uh, cities in Iraq uh, and elsewhere as well. So they're, they're well funded. Uh, they have a pretty strong recruitment network, and their recent successes have also uh, fueled more recruits. Now, Siobhan, clearly there was some kind of error here, whether it was, you know, a lack of intelligence or a lack of the you know ability to act on that intelligence of the people you're talking to is anyone talking about changes going forward how to be more nimble and reacting to these kind of threats well, I think that certainly they are, are you know, working harder and harder at it. And the more the U.S. gets involved in Iraq, the more intelligence assets are going to be focused on that uh, that country and that region as well. So I think we're, we're, we're just going to see kind of a, a, a continued growth in intelligence efforts in that arena. And that, that generally yields better intelligence. All right, Siobhan, we're going to leave it there. Thanks very much for joining us.